How we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. We are back for another week and I hope every single one of you have had a really good weekend. Now of course it's Monday which means we're going to catch up on all the action in the Premier League. Eight games, plenty of goals and plenty of talking points. I represent my fucking self. How we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. That's right. So, of course, it was Premier League action over the course of the weekend. And we have to go right back to Friday night for the very first game. And it was a 1-0 win for Wolves away at Fulham. And you've got to start to worry about Fulham now. A few weeks ago, or before the international break, I would say, they had that fantastic victory at Anfield. And it looked like they had the momentum. And they could well get themselves out of the relegation zone. But... It's not gone according to plan since and uh, you've got to fear that their time in the Premier League will soon be over. Um, going into Saturday's games and uh, there were some big games here. First one, Crystal Palace, Chelsea. And this was a very, very comfortable 4-1 win for Chelsea. The game was effectively over within 30 minutes. Um, Crystal Palace... They're safe. They're going through the motions. Um, and yeah, it wasn't a great performance by them. But Chelsea, they'll be very, very happy with that. Um, especially when you look at their performance last time out in the Premier League and conceding those five goals um, against West Brom. So they'll be happy to get back to winning ways. Um, Liverpool against Aston Villa. Really good game this was, to be fair. Um, Aston Villa took the lead in this game. Um, and then Liverpool were able to turn it around. Um, they did have a goal disallowed. Um, and then it was Trent Alexander-Arnold in injury time. Really, really good finish. Um, and that was a big victory for Liverpool in their chase for the Champions League places. And Aston Villa, that would be a slight dent into their chases for the European spots. Um, now, the last game on Saturday, and this was one hell of a turn up for the books. Manchester City won, Leeds United 2. Leeds United had two shots on goal all game and they scored from both. They also had to play the whole of the second half with 10 men. Absolutely staggering. Um, they actually took the lead in the game through Dallas. And then right on half time, they went down to 10 men. Now, I've looked at this incident and it's got to be the follow through is the only thing because he's won the ball very clearly, but his follow through momentum has, you know, absolutely, you know, took him clean through um, the player. And I suppose a few years ago, it's probably not even a foul. But now, with VAR and the slowing down of play and things looking a hundred times worse when it's slowed down um, and you show a still image, for example, yeah, it's a red card. Um, Manchester City were able to get back into the game. Torres equalised and you thought, right, they're going to go on. They're going to get that victory. And in injury time, out of absolutely nowhere, Leeds United and Dallas again go through. Brilliant finish. 2-1 win. Surely Manchester City are not going to throw away the Premier League title. No way are they. It's not going to happen. This was just a blip. Um, going into Sunday's games. Um, Burnley against Newcastle. Massive 2-1 win for Newcastle. Um, very good performance from St. Maximin in particular for Newcastle. And um, two goals in quick succession to turn around a 1-0 deficit was enough for them. And like I said, we'll have a look at the table in a moment. But that's a big, big three points. Uh, West Ham against Leicester. What a win this is for West Ham. Um, and they are really in contention for a Champions League place. Staggering. Um, Jesse Lingard again on the score sheet. And again, West Ham go 3-0 ahead. Leicester pulled it back to 3-2. And um, 
Yeah, it's the third game in a row that West Ham have taken the lead and uh, they've nearly thrown it away. Against Arsenal, they did throw it away. Um, but last time out against Wolves and this time with Leicester, they were able to go and see it out and uh, get those big, big three points. Um, Sheffield United, Arsenal. Um, I think I've said pretty much all I can say on this. It was... You know, just one of them games for Arsenal. It's, you know, Thursday is the most important for us and turning around that deficit um, against Slavia Prague. Sheffield United are now relegated. Um, so commiserations to them. And I wish them luck in the championship and their, um, you know, battle to try and get back into the Premier League. I think they've had a really, really tough time this season things have not gone to plan when you think of how good they were last season and they were a breath of fresh air to the Premier League but yeah their time in the Premier League is done and I think that's uh, been inevitable for a very long time um, but yeah with Arsenal some good performances in there some really good football in there um, Lacazette scoring a couple of goals as well and um, all in all it was comfortable to be fair, and uh, the 3-0 scoreline is, um, you know, very good for us moving forward um, with what we've got coming up on Thursday. So three points in the bag, clean sheet, got to be happy. Um, last game, Tottenham against Manchester United, and this was a massive 3-1 win for Manchester United. Now, the talking point in this would have been in the first half, Manchester United took the lead um, Cavani, really good goal. And it was ruled out because of um, an apparent arm in the face of Son. First and foremost, this was not a foul. It's a perfectly good goal. And I don't know why it was ruled out. Son initially um, is the one that actually tries to put his arm across McTominay. In, you know, response to that, McTominay is trying to feel for where Son is to, you know, use him as leverage and to push away from him. It's part and parcel of the game. And he's caught Son in the face. It's not a foul in any way, shape or form. It's not intentional. It's just simply not a foul. Now, I feel the reason why this was looked at and the pressure was on is because Son stayed down for the duration of the, you know, check and everything, just to try and make it look worse than what it was. Because let's make no mistake about this, okay? Son was not hurt. Son was not injured. It was all an act. Honest to God, it was an act. It was fake. There was nothing wrong with him at all. And the crowding of the referee by the players... It just influenced it. It was pathetic. And then, you know, to rub salt into the wounds for Manchester United, Tottenham then took the lead and it was Son that scored. But a brilliant second half from Manchester United turned it around. And um, I think the Champions League spot is done and dusted for them now. Tottenham, yeah, I don't think they're going to get that Champions League place. And it's going to be very, very difficult for them. Um, when you look at the... Premier League table that is very interesting at the moment Manchester City of course top six games to go 74 points Manchester United 63 points and a game in hand mm, I can't see them turning around an eight point deficit could they be interesting to see what remaining games they've got left. I haven't actually checked and I don't know. Um, but it is and could only be possibly one of those two. Um, Leicester in third place on 56. West Ham in fourth on 55. Uh, Chelsea in fifth on 54. Liverpool in sixth on 52. Tottenham in seventh on 49. Um, Everton in 8th place but do have two games in hand on 47 so they could still get themselves in the mix um, and then Arsenal um, on 45 points 
Uh, when you look down at the bottom of the table, um, that is it for Sheffield United, done and dusted. Um, West Brom, ah, it's done for them, man. There's no way they're turning around an 11-point deficit. Um, not for me. Fulham, third from bottom, 26 points. Um, and then Newcastle, they're on 32 points, so a six-point gap. And they do have a game in hand. Brighton on 32 points, but they have two games in hand on Fulham. Um, and then Burnley on 33. I think that may well be it for Fulham. I think their recent run could have um, finished them off. But yeah, we never know. Um, football's a funny game and anything can happen. So there we go. That is it for today's TT's Daily. As usual, let me know in the comment section what you think about today's topics. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, smash a like on this video, and I will see you lot soon. I'm out of here.